Hi guys, my name is Bitupan. I am a certified health and wellness coach and a national record holder for fitness in India Book of Records. So in this video, I am going to talk to you about yoga, meditation and pranayam. So mostly people get confused with these terms. Uh, mostly people think that they are all the same. Uh, I mean, it has something to do with yoga, meditation, pranayam and all. But let me clarify these terms. Uh, first of all, yoga is not just twisting and turning your body. Okay, so yoga is more than that. Yoga is a way of living. Uh, it is because of mostly the uh, Western influence. Uh, because we see a lot of Western people just twisting and turning their bodies and lifting their legs and putting their hand from this side to that side and they present that as yoga. So there are actually eight limbs of yoga as for Patanjali there are eight limbs of yoga so I am not going to go into all the eight limbs because that is going to take a lot of time I am going to go into the three important limbs of yoga yoga asana is one of the limbs of yoga okay so yoga asana means what what do you mean by asana it means a position right it's a posture so there are some postures which if you maintain for some time then that gives benefit to your body to physical body okay so you should do these postures to keep your body in good condition so that is called yoga asana understand this yoga asana is a part of yoga it means it is one limb of yoga which is called yoga asana just yoga does not mean uh, the physical exercise yoga asana is a physical exercise okay then that is yoga asana another limb of the eight limbs is uh, pranayam Pranayam means what? We, we have a physical body, then we have a pran inside it, isn't it? So, ayam means what? Vayam means what? Vayam means doing physical exercise to your body. So, pran ayam means what? Ayam to your pran. Doing exercise for the pran. So, there are some breathing exercises which we do when you give more oxygen to the pran inside you, uh, so, uh, so that uh, you uh, uh, generate your internal energy which is your pran that is called pranayam so there are exercises like uh, uh, anulom vilom then kapal bhati and all so those are breathing exercises so they are called pranayam so yoga asana is one limb pranayam is one limb of yoga and then uh, another one is meditation so meditation is for the mind just like yoga asana is for the physical body pranayam is for the pran and uh, meditation is for the mind so it is said that on an average uh, a human being has 60,000 thoughts in a day and unfortunately most are negative thoughts thoughts keep on flowing we, we do not have any control on our thoughts okay so meditation is to control those, those thoughts not really to control actually to be precise but not letting those thoughts control you okay so there are again various types of meditation uh, like mindfulness meditation visualization meditation and all but the most common one is mindfulness meditation mostly when we say meditation people by default think that it is mindfulness meditation so mindfulness meditation is concentrating on a particular thing so when you basically sit uh, quiet in a uh, quiet room and close your eyes uh, so basically you do not have anything to concentrate apart from a breath isn't it you uh, breathe in and breathe out that is the only thing that you can concentrate so in mindfulness meditation you let your thoughts flow but you concentrate on your breath so and when it comes to benefits of meditation there there are numerous benefits there are a lot of benefits of meditation i can actually make a different video again on the benefits of meditation but what i am trying to say in this video is what exactly is meditation it is for the mind so <clears throat> I'll brief again, yoga is a complete way of living, in that yoga there are 8 limbs. Yoga asana is one limb of yoga which is for the physical body. Pranayama is another limb of yoga which is for the pran inside us. And meditation is another limb which is for the mind. So I hope this made sense and please uh, from next time when somebody says I am doing yoga, tell them that no you don't do yoga, you do yoga asana, right? You don't do yoga, right? So the Anyways, I hope you liked this video. So if, uh, if you liked it, do share it with your friends and I'll come up with more videos like this. Thank you so much.